Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me again. Today I wanted to show you a tour of my craft room. So this is looking at my craft room when I'm coming up the steps. And over here to the left, I have a little makeup area that I put my makeup on every morning. So let's start over here. So over here I have my ribbons and twines and um, different threads and things like that. So I have them in these drawer systems here. One of my cats usually is laying up here, but I'm not sure where she is right now. I also have my laser printer over here, a little chair that I can sit in, and my wall of punches. So I don't use them a whole bunch anymore, but they are there if I need them. I also have some other ribbons hanging up over here on these tie organizers, and I have those organized by color, so it makes it really easy to look through there and see if something matches my project. I have some drawers over here. Right here I have this little card catalog. And I have my embellishments in there. So I have them separated by colors. So I think every color has two drawers. Um, and I have those, I have some ice cube trays in there that I spray painted white so I could see the colors easily. And I have different, I have them sorted in there with buttons and eyelets and brads and all kinds of different embellishments. There's my purple drawer. On top of here, I have some drawers that have my six by six papers in them. So my pattern papers, I have some metallic um, glitter papers in there too. And then over here, I have some drawers with my alcohol inks. Um, probably a random drawer I just throw stuff in and then this is my chalk drawer. I have all these drawers over here, those white ones you see I got those at Pat Catan's when they were going out of business so I got a really good deal on those and actually most of those are still empty right now so I have lots of drawers there that I can fill up with new stuff. There's some things I haven't quite organized there at the top. Um, here I have my 12 by 12 um, colored cardstock. I have some inks over here. These are actually cassette tape organizers I put on the wall there that hold some ink pads perfectly. My Stampin' Up Caddy. Oh, there's Violet. Hi, Violet. She likes to hang out up here with me. And over here I have my 8.5 by 11 cardstock, also separated by color. Moving on over here, I have my TV there. And this um, piece of furniture below the TV, I actually got on Craigslist. And this originally came from um, a courthouse and it dates back to the 1860s. So I'm really into vintage furniture and card catalogs and drawer systems and things like that. So I do have some of these drawers filled up. There's my little buddy, Ralphie. Hi, Ralph. He likes to hang out up here with me too. This cart over here is kind of like my watercolor cart. So I have my Brutus Monroe aqua pigments up on the top there. In the other levels of this cart, I have some color bursts and some perfect pearls, some water sprayers, um, different things I can use for my water coloring. And then this is one of my newest carts here I have for my glues and my adhesives. So I have it right next to my work desk so I can have those right at my fingertips. I have my glue runners, um, washi tape, adhesive foam tape. And over here there's a little shelf there that has my pop dots in it, some glue pens, um, double-sided adhesive, those kind of things there. Over here I have my Nuvo drops over there on the left, and this little shelf here I got at Hobby Lobby, and it fits my Distress inks perfectly, and those little pails I have the foam pads that go with the Distress inks. I also bought this at Hobby Lobby, um, and it has a lot of my Brutus Monroe glitter glazes in it, 
um, embossing powders, different types of um, mixed media things there too. And on top of that, I have my die cutting machine and my heat tool. Here I have this three tiered organizer that has different paints in it. So I have some distress paints, acrylic paints, and then all my spray, all my sprays in there. There's Stella. Hi, Stella. This piece I also found on Craigslist, and this came from an insurance company. Um, so I have that filled with different papers and different accessories and things. I really like these drawers because they're kind of shallow, so you don't have to stack a whole lot in there, but they're the perfect size for paper. On top of here, I have some pieces I made at Simon Says Create a couple years ago. This is when we had a class with Tim Holtz. That was amazing. Over here, I have my die cutting machine. Here's my Silhouette Cameo with the cover I made for it. My brother Scan and Cut, and then all my alcohol markers. I also have some cardstock here that I use for card bases. This is really thick, heavyweight cardstock. These drawers I have um, things that go with my cutting machines, like the cutting mats, and then I have some extra adhesives and glues in there. Here's a bigger card catalog that um, I actually got from one of the county libraries when they weren't using it anymore. I've had this piece for several years, and this is filled with wood-mounted stamps. So those are all organized by categories. And here are my clear stamps. So I do have these in those um, plastic fridge bins, and I have each stamp set in a plastic pocket with labels of the company and the stamp name, and I do have them organized by theme. The pets theme is probably one of my favorites. And here is my work desk. And there you can see my Brutus Monroe trick or treat Halloween card kit that just came in the mail today. So I have to open that today. I also just bought these tailored expression blend expressions, blending brushes that I'm super excited about. So I'll be using those soon. And I have this caddy that I bought at Michael's and it has a lot of my tools and things in it that I use a lot. So it's right here at my fingertips. Some blades and um, different markers I use a lot. My uh, bone folder. And then over here on this, I just have some different pens and things like that. I have the Tim Holtz glass media mat on my work surface here because I do love working on that. It's so nice and easy to clean up. I have my name tag from the Create Your Own event Ending event because it does have the sizes of all the different cards on there. And I just like to look at it because it's cute. Here I have a lot of the inks that I use a lot, my embossing inks, black inks, things like that. So here's another look at it. I think that's about it. Thank you for joining me for my craft room tour. If you have any questions or want to see something else up close, please let me know. Thanks. Bye.